Hi, I just tried out this program, the Shortcut Video Editor. The latest version has just come out. I just click the new release 18.07. The most important thing for me is the size and position filter. I spent almost two hours to figure out how to use the advanced keyframes or the size and position. Basically what it does is just pan and zoom. Let me grab a file okay so i just save the portable zip to my program files in the shortcut so you see it here and I click shortcut look for the application file all right shortcut so let me press Control o this was the installation process that i just captured drag it all the way down to the timeline let me show you how I do the advanced keyframe. Simply go to the timeline, click the clip to make the clip blue like this, and then go to the filters. If you don't see the filters, simply click filters, then you will have this panel. Just press the plus sign. I really like the improvement in 18.07 because it has the text search box for the filters. Okay, so just add a filter. You can either use the show video filters or audio filters but for me i like the addition of text box it wasn't in the previous versions so i'm going to type size and position and then it will return the one that you're looking for okay make sure your video filter is ticked if it's unticked you won't see anything let me try yeah see you can resize that so let me add the keyframe first before you add the keyframe you probably don't see the keyframes. If you don't see the keyframe, simply click the keyframes in the toolbar. Then you will have the keyframes here. Okay, let me just make it back to 0, 1280. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work, you see. It's not very sensitive. Let's say if I want to scroll all the way here. Then what I need to do is go back to the first frame or you just go to whatever frame. You define the first frame. The first frame is just the whole screen. You can leave it untouched, but you have to add a keyframe here in the keyframe position. What you need to do is go to the position and then click use keyframes for this parameter. Click it, then you will see the keyframe here. So. Let me move to whatever frame. Let me add the keyframe here. I try to double click it, right click it, left click it, but it doesn't add the keyframe. I tried some of the shortcuts before, but it didn't work. So what I'm trying to do is go back to the position and then change, let's say I change the vertical position to 10 and then press enter. You see? Sometimes it bounces, so you have to try it again. So I press 10, so you see it move, right? Yeah, it doesn't work sometimes. So you see the frame is in red, right? And so now you can adjust the end frame here. So let's say if I wanted to go back to 10, doesn't work, I have to try it again. That's why I think it's not very intuitive. Let me change the size to 1920 i just make my frame a little bigger so that i can zoom right 1920 and 1080 see this one it doesn't work so you have to keep trying okay and now i can get it to zoom then i drag this one to wherever i want let me test what we just did okay so good so it's zooming, right? Let's say if you want to hold for a while and then return back to the full frame, it's quite tricky. Actually, you want to move to the end point that you want to keep your keyframes. Let's say if I want to keep this frame until here, then what you can do is go back to the frame and remember this one, negative 5, 1, 8 and 6. Then you go here and then you have to change this one a little bit to add a keyframe. See? So you have here. Because it automatically bounces to 6, even though if I change it to 10. Sometimes if it gets changed to 10, you have to change this one to 6. Alright? And let's say if I want to move back to the full frame, then what I need to do is 
move to the end frame and then I change this one back to a smaller scale. So it doesn't work. So keep trying until you press enter. 720. Alright, <laughs> just press until you get it. So it's pretty tedious. Okay, so it's 1280. Doesn't work. 1280. Enter. It seems like it works now. Then I move back. So, seems like I finished up everything. Let's play the video by pressing L. So it's going to zoom hold for a while and then move back. So just to recap, whenever you want to add a keyframe, go to your end frame and change your parameter and press, remember to press enter until it works. I think that's pretty much it for my testing on this shortcut video version 18.07. Thank you. Bye bye.